Welcome to part two of, of the Windows 7 Safety Information Guide. I am Lucario. Okay, so we're on our standard user account. Last time I made a video about the dangers and how to help prevent them. Now, let's install a firewall and I'll show you how the standard user account works. How our standard user account works. Uh, that spells done load. Uh, there's download. If you don't think Komodo is good enough, find a firewall, get a cup of coffee while it installs, and you probably won't have time because it'll been already installed by me. I'm going to download the free version of Zone Alarm Firewall. I don't know how, Z how Zone Alarm will protect you against... ...malicious links, but... ...hope it works in a way that it works. Oh, yeah, the administrator account. Uh, yeah, they see support. But if you can find a free firewall, then you are free to download a free firewall that supports Windows 7, then you can download it as you wish. Hey, you got the free firewall installed. Now, this is for home users only. But if you have children, children will believe anything, so let's say I have a child named Jerry.
I want to set that to on. You can have time limits games and what. I didn't put a password because this is just an example, but you might want to put a password for that. Switch user. We're now on Little Jerry's account. It takes a long time. It's what happens when you run an old operating system. Just give it a minute. Oh, I see. Set game ratings. I would usually set this to T. M and AO is a is a little bit extreme for someone's brain for someone who's in brain development, so they, if they are 16, just set it to M and AO. Set it to AO if they're 16 or above. But if they're below 16, just set it to teen. I choose yes for but you can also choose no. Can Jerry play games? Yes. You don't want that set. Let's say Jerry is 15. Uh, 
All right, Jerry's 15, so we put it up to team. When he turns a year older, we can put it up to AO. If you are overprotective, you can set it to any rating below M. And that is all for this safety guide. It's pretty much safe for the most part.